Hi, good afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for coming back to my uh, YouTube channel and for visiting again. And um, my name is Melissa. And um, as I have always promised, I would like to talk about my childhood in Africa and uh, how this childhood has contributed to how I live right now, to the life I'm uh, experiencing right now. And um, the uniform is part of it. And I've realized I really need to talk about this. And I hope we can talk together about it because I think everyone has a different opinion about it. What I remember is um, as a child, I didn't know anything better than going to school wearing a uniform. Zimbabwe is uh, an ex-British colony. So I think um, the influence lies there a little bit. Uh, whereby uh, children go to school wearing uniform. There must be a reason. I think uh, someone thought it out, like, oh, uh, if all the children look alike, and especially the outside part, is it possible that they may focus on one thing, the reason why they are coming to school? And at the same time, children are supposed to be playing, and they play when they are wearing uniform as well. So I've been asking myself uh, what are the differences between children who go to school wearing a uniform and the children who don't wear uniform when they're going to school. I've noted a few things down on paper for myself and um, the first thing that came up was the clothes. Uh, the clothes I realized when I was in Zimbabwe, uh, my parents never thought of uh, buying me special clothes for going to school because I all I needed was uniform. So, and that uniform was the same type my another child at school had. So, and there was a one place where uniforms were being sold. Not so many places, and at the end, some people could make their own uniforms. So, which means uh, financially, I thought it was a bit better because we knew, oh, if that uniform is damaged, then my mother buys a new one or she makes a new one. Um, of course, you needed to have a few uniforms. So, if the other one is dirty, you know, you can change to another one. But, of course, they can wash it. And um, if I have to make a comparison with a child that doesn't wear a uniform at school, I, there must be also advantages, but also I see more disadvantages. Now that my own child, she is nine years at the moment, when she started going to school, she was four years. And um, at that moment, children, they don't realize what it is that, that it is wearing clothes. And uh, they just wear what you tell them to put on or what you help them to put on and they go to school and they come back up to a certain age when they start realizing oh mom I saw a princess dress there and I could you buy me one or could I also get the same dress or could I get some shoes that look alike with another child at school and I realized the first time I experienced that my child uh was like five and a half, five, five, yeah, almost six, I think. And she she came up with this uh, princess dress and she liked it because uh, the other girl, she was wearing it. Um, the first response from my side was like, oh, which one is that? And uh, I was confused because I was not used to that, that the child comes up with something that she has seen by another child at school. I was kind of confused and I thought, let me think about it. Let me talk about it with the father and uh, what can we do with it? And of course, we did buy the princess dress and she wore it. She was very happy. And uh, it became a habit in a, in a way that she, each time she saw someone wearing uh, new shoes, she would start saying that as first when she come home. And we were hoping, not like hope as such, but it would be nice if a child comes home and says, Mama, this is what we do, did at school. 
and we played and the teacher said this and we have learned this at school but i think at the end that's the one reason why we bring children to school to play with other children not to compare themselves with others so what i'm trying to bring out here is um i guess when i was wearing uniform at school i didn't look at how another child would look like and i didn't care how her shoes looked like because they were almost the same as mine and she had white socks the only thing that mattered now was who was more hygienical than the other child which is also a level up because we were being taught how to wash our clothes at home and we were also seeing how our parents were doing their best making us look neat at school so um this part one about clothes and uniform i think um it's something we all have to think about. One might say this. I like it when I buy my child uh, her clothes and bring her to school with the type of clothes that I choose or she chooses. And at the same time, another parent who says, I can't afford buying clothes each time because they, yeah, they damage at school. They become dirty so quick. And I can't afford uh the type of clothes these parents can buy because here in the netherlands we have shops like just compare two shops baikorov and the z-man and uh, the baikorov is more expensive clothes and the z-man doesn't